The LEAN Team is a partnership between the Medical University of South Carolina and the Charleston County School District. Our mission is the prevention and treatment of childhood obesity. We serve as a resource for school nurses, teachers, students, and families. A health check gives valuable information and can be used to shape school health policies. This video will demonstrate a few simple ways to do a health check at your school. Height, weight, BMI, body fat, and blood pressure should be measured only after permission is obtained. Obtaining permission is the first step in joining the LEAN team. The permission form must be dated, signed by student, and parent or guardian. The participant's contact information must be completely filled out, as well as the parent-guardian contact information. The permission slip should be returned to a LEAN team member or school nurse. All information is kept confidential. The first step in measuring height is to ask the student to remove their shoes. Ask the student to step on the platform facing out and to stand up straight. Lower the height indicator until it touches the top of their head. Read and record the height in feet and inches. The first step in measuring weight is to ask the student to remove shoes and all belongings from pockets, such as keys and cell phones. Also, remove any extra clothing, such as a jacket, sweatshirt, or sweater. Ask the student to step on the scale with both feet and with hands at their sides. Remain still until the weight is recorded. In order to do the BMI and body fat measurement, you must first have completed the height and weight measurements. Have the student use hand sanitizer prior to the body fat measurement. There are several buttons on the body fat analyzer. You will have to enter the guest, normal, height, weight, and age prior to having the student grip the instrument. The set button acts as an enter key and must be pressed after each entry. Turn the machine on by pressing the on off button. You'll be prompted to enter guest. Hit the set key. You'll be prompted to enter normal. Hit the set key. You'll be prompted to enter height. You must scroll up or down to the known height and press the set key. You'll be prompted to enter weight. Scroll up or down to the known weight and hit the set key. You'll be prompted to enter age. Scroll up or down to the appropriate age and hit the set key. You'll be prompted to enter gender. Male is the default setting. If female, scroll up and hit the set key. The ready light will appear. Instruct the student to properly grip the machine. Thumbs on top, palms around the stainless steel band, arms outstretched with elbows locked. Depress the start key. In about 20 seconds, a reading will appear in the display panel. Percent body fat will be displayed in the upper screen and BMI in the lower. To do an accurate arm blood pressure measurement, the student must be seated and the proper cuff size selected. If a student weighs more than 200 pounds, consider using the larger cuff. Once cuff selection is chosen, slip the cuff over the left hand and align the cuff so that the green stitching is one half inch above the bend in the elbow. Instruct the student to rest their arm on the table or chair and sit quietly during the measurement. Turn the machine on by depressing the start key. When a zero is displayed, the cuff will automatically inflate. When the measurement is complete, the cuff will deflate 
and a reading of systolic and diastolic blood pressure and pulse in beats per minute will be displayed. The advantages of using a wrist blood pressure monitor are the ability to do a rapid reading, the ease of placement and range of sizes of people it can accommodate. A typical measurement using a wrist blood pressure monitor takes less than 30 seconds. Another benefit is the wide range of sizes the wrist monitor covers. It can be used on wrist sizes 5 inches to 8 and a quarter inches. To place the cuff, ask the student to extend their left arm with palm facing up. Align the arrow on the cuff toward the palm. Fasten the cuff and turn on the monitor. You will hear a beeping sound. Instruct the student to bend their elbow and move their arm towards their shoulder. The monitor is self-positioning. Once the monitor is in the proper position, the beeping will stop and the cuff will automatically inflate. The student must remain still and quiet. Once the measurement is complete, the cuff will deflate and the systolic and diastolic blood pressure and pulse in beats per minute will be displayed. A normal blood pressure reading is 120 over 80.